I trust you from my room. From here, we're tight. It's late, and the lights are low. I am away from the world, finally. Two flights of stairs, door double locked. From here, neither of us are the frustrated, ready-to-explode animals that others see when they pass us on the street. Our eyes are not wild and full of compressed hatred. The streets scream. The buildings howl as they support floor upon floor of sweating human lab experiments. It is no surprise to me that hardly anyone tells the truth about how they feel. The smart ones keep themselves to themselves for good reason. Why would you want to tell anyone anything that's dear to you, even when you like them and want nothing more than to be closer than close to them? It's so painful to be next to someone you feel strongly about and know that you can't say the things you want to. I've been in that hell many times and so have you. On that one, we're united. There's nothing like a small room and some music. If you're lucky enough to have that, you know what I mean. The late night soundtrack takes me away from the one-way strangers on the street and all becomes as it should. I used to like reality until they screwed it up and cheapened it. I used to defend reality until they shot so many people and crushed so many spirits that I could no longer be a part of it. They tried to break me. Of course they failed. Johnny Hartman is tonight's late night soundtrack. He never got his due. I think of him singing his beautiful sad alienation in a lounge somewhere until closing time and going back to a hotel to chain smoke himself to sleep. His voice lets me know that he was well acquainted with pain and late nights. He's dead, but I know him well. He's part of my self-created reality. He comes here and fills the air with his songs, and it's good to be alive. It's not a matter of being tough enough to take what they give out. I can hack it any time around these parts. But only a fool would waste the time trying. What do you have to prove? It's hard to find anyone who's worth a second of your time or even the slightest bit of your truth. But from here, we can do it. In this silent, understood relationship, I'm glad you're here and hope for your well-being. From this anonymous room, we don't have to dwell on the ordinary, grinding tasks that keep us alive and make us dull. Here in this moment, we are beautiful, nocturnal creatures, and our thoughts and words are jewels guarded by the moon. The moon will never lie to anyone. Be like the moon. No one hates the moon or wants to kill it. The moon doesn't take antidepressants and never gets sent to prison. The moon never shot a guy in the face and ran away. The moon has been around a long time and has never tried to rip anyone off. The moon does not care who you are or who you want to touch or what color you are. The moon treats everyone the same. The moon never tries to get in on the guest list or use your name to impress others. Be like the moon. When others insult and belittle in an attempt to elevate themselves, the moon sits passively and watches, never lowering itself to anything that weak. The moon is beautiful and reflects the sun's light brilliantly. It needs no makeup. The moon never shoves clouds out of its way so it can be seen. The moon needs not fame nor money to be powerful. The moon never asks you to go to war to defend it. Be like the moon.